ever wondered what's happening beyond our blue and green planet? What secrets the infinite expanse of the cosmos holds? Space, the final frontier, a mystery that has captivated humanity since time immemorial. As we gaze up at the stars, we are left in awe of the celestial bodies that twinkle back at us. Among these celestial marvels, comets have always held a special place. These icy travelers of the cosmos are not just beautiful to behold, but they are also bearers of untold secrets about the universe. One such comet, which has recently captured the world's attention, is the Mother of Dragons Comet. Yes, you heard it right. This comet, named after the fiery creatures of a popular fantasy series, is as fascinating as its namesake. It's not your everyday comet, it's a cryovolcanic comet, a rare celestial phenomenon that has scientists across the globe buzzing with excitement. But what makes this comet so special? What secrets does it hold? And why has it been dubbed the Mother of Dragons? Well, that's a tale that's as intriguing as any you'd find in a science fiction novel. So join us as we journey through the cosmos and delve into the mysteries of the Mother of Dragons comet. You might be familiar with the volcanoes on Earth, but have you ever heard of cryovolcanoes? It's a term that sounds like it's straight out of a science fiction novel, doesn't it? But the reality is, these icy eruptions are a fascinating and very real part of our universe's natural wonders. So, let's delve into the science of cryovolcanic activity. Unlike their fiery counterparts here on Earth, cryovolcanoes or ice volcanoes don't spew molten rock. Instead, they erupt with volatiles such as water, ammonia or methane. These substances behave similar to lava when exposed to the extreme cold of space, forming icy volcanoes on the surface of celestial bodies. Now you might be wondering, where does cryovolcanic activity occur? Well, it's most often observed on bodies in our outer solar system, where temperatures are frigid enough for these volatile substances to freeze solid. This includes moons like Enceladus, Triton, and yes, even comets like our current spectacle, the Mother of Dragons. Speaking of the Mother of Dragons comet, it's a prime example of a body showcasing this fascinating phenomenon. The comet's cryovolcanoes erupt, spewing plumes of icy particles into space. These eruptions are so powerful that they can even shape the trajectory of the comet itself. Just imagine an icy volcano with enough power to steer a celestial body through the vastness of space. So what's the significance of studying cryovolcanic activity on the Mother of Dragons comet? Well, understanding these icy eruptions can provide us with valuable insights into the composition and history of the comet, and by extension, the history of our own solar system. And there's more. The volatiles released by cryovolcanoes are believed to have contributed to the presence of water on planets, including Earth. So studying these icy eruptions could also help us understand the origins of water in our own world. Indeed, the Mother of Dragons Comet offers a unique opportunity to study cryovolcanic activity in action far from our home planet. Now, the Mother of Dragons Comet isn't just a subject of scientific study. It's also a sight to behold from Earth. This celestial wanderer, named for its fiery and unpredictable nature, is every bit as intriguing as its moniker suggests. The Mother of Dragons is not your average comet. It's colossal, dwarfing many of its counterparts in the cosmic wilderness. Imagine something the size of a small city hurtling through space at astronomical speeds. It's composed primarily of rock and ice, but what sets it apart is the cryovolcanic activity. This comet is literally spewing out jets of water vapor and particles, much like dragons breathing fire in the tales of old. The trajectory of this comet is another aspect that makes it unusual. It's on an elliptical orbit, swinging in close to the sun before being flung back out into the depths of the solar system. This dance with the sun is what makes the mother of dragons visible from our home planet. So how and when can you see this spectacle? The best time to catch a glimpse is during its perihelion, the point in its orbit when it's closest to the sun. As the sun's rays hit the comet, they heat up the ices, causing them to vaporize and create a glowing coma around the comet. This is what makes the comet visible from Earth. It's not just a point of light, but a full-fledged spectacle, complete with a glowing tail that stretches across the sky. This visibility isn't just special because it's rare. It's special because it reminds us of our place in the cosmos. We're part of a universe filled with wonders beyond our comprehension. 
The Mother of Dragons Comet is one of those wonders, a celestial object that combines beauty and scientific intrigue in equal measure. So next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember the Mother of Dragons Comet. It's not just a beautiful spectacle, but a testament to the wonders of the universe and the power of scientific discovery.